This is Sushant once again from Switch to Y. Welcome to this brand new video of Alight Motion episode 3. In this Alight Motion video, we are going to learn how to create page color transition inside Alight Motion thanks to this new update of Alight Motion 4.1 version. In this 4.1 version, they have introduced this page color effect and along with we are going to use trick a stripe effect uh, this is also very new so watch this video carefully if you try to skip any of this step it might be difficult to achieve this effect what i'm trying to teach you so let's start beginning with this transition for that let me turn on the screen recording tab on this plus icon type the project name transition resolution will be 4k you can select any frame rate you want uh, background will be black create the project okay now tab on this green icon go to media choose sample media and select the first clip and drag to three second Like I always said, I like to create effect using sample media because when you export this project as a XML and try to open it in a another device like this, you will minimize the missing media option and simply you can change by selecting media option. You can add your photo or video. Okay. And after dragging to this three second, move your playhead to one second like this make a mark and add another clip like this and drag this clip till three seconds means it will be a two second long like this okay so this is our pattern of this transitions and now what we have to do make another key framing means mark of 1.15 like this it will be very useful for creating keyframing now let's adding the effect in this whole transition video we are going to most focused on the second clip okay we are going to leave this first clip as it is we are not going to change anything in this first clip select second clip and add effect called page curl like this and choose standard settings like this and over here you will find plenty of new parameters and we are going to make change in each of these parameters so watch this video carefully if you try to skip it it might be difficult to achieve exact same transition effect Now what you have to do, you have to first make change in angle parameter. Okay. Tab on this angle parameter. Right now it is 38 degree. You have to make it 2 degree like this. Okay. And you will find the cylindrical page curl. Now we have to modify this page curl. If you want to keep as it is, you can check in the progress parameter. See if you move this progress parameter, it will give a rotation means its page will turn like this. Okay. But we need to create a cylindrical blur effect over here. We don't need a very shiny little thing. If you want shiny transition, you can keep this shiny part but i need a little bit of a uh, blur and opacity to this cylindrical shape okay so for that we are going to make change in this alpha okay select this alpha and move this to four like this mm, okay perfect and the blur will be 20 or 30 percent let me see how much we want 0.30 percent will be perfect 
Now let's switch to this back of layer parameter. Over here we are going to make changes in color. Select white. The alpha will be 100. And the blending mode will be multiply. Now about the shiny part, select this white color and now select alpha, the alpha will be 28 or 30, I don't know how much shiny we want, okay maybe 35 is looking nice, okay and the specularity will be 15, we don't need much of shininess like this and blending will be screen and now go to drop shadow parameters over here we are going to move this alpha to maybe 30 percent is enough okay and turn on this soft edges option because it will be turned off by default uh, sometime so turn on this okay and the front shadow will be in the front end shadow parameter choose alpha and select 00 okay and now let's switch to the top of the effect and select progress let's see yes we are having this blur opacity cylindrical page curl effect okay now we have to do animation we have to put the animation to this page curl like this for that we are going to make changes in progress parameter and the radius parameter so first we are going to make changes in progress so what we are going to do move the playhead to one second like this and tab on first keyframe and move playhead to 1.15 second create another keyframe and move to the last keyframe that is third keyframe at the three seconds okay now go to first keyframe like this and in the progress parameter switch to 200 person like this and let me zoom a little bit now switch to second keyframe like this and move to 60 percent like this and switch to the last keyframe it will be zero zero let's play it okay now move to the first keyframe between one second one second six frame and we have to put the curve so for that tab on this curve and we are going to select i think is in maybe is out okay tab on this is out let's see yes perfect and now switch to another keyframe second keyframe in that we are going to use is in like this and drag a little bit like this and turn on by tapping this three dot on the left hand side corner unable overshoot and in the unable overshoot now select this first handle and make it till 45 degree like this and move second handle like this to the 90 degree okay now it will create a little bouncy effect see perfect okay now go back and in the radius parameter we are going to do again same type of keyframing go move your playhead to one second like this move second keyframing of 1.15 and third keyframe will be of three second like this and in the radius parameter we are going to make change in 100 0 0.100 to 60 like this sixty sixty okay. second keyframe will be of sixty like this sixty and the third keyframe will be of 
like this okay now we have to add curve for this radius parameter move your playhead till 1.6 again like this and tab on this curve and we have to select linear animation linear animation to both the keyframe let's play it perfect let's play it again perfect so our first part of this transition is ready now we have to put little bit of blur and stripe effect to this page curl transition what happened over here it's revealed directly so we have to hide this cat okay like this by adding strict stripe effect and select standard settings minimize this strict stripe effect and move this to the top means it will be at the top and page curl will be in the bottom like this and tab on this strict stripe effect and make changes in marks to layer option turn on this like this and we are going to make changes in count angle face an alpha parameter first we are going to make changes in angle parameter right now it is 45 degree you need to switch to 90 degree like this okay and now we are going to make changes in count parameter switch to first keyframe of one second move your playhead to one second like this create a first keyframe second keyframe third keyframe move to first keyframe and give the value of 30 second keyframe will be of 30 this And the third keyframe will be of 30. Like this. And now we have to put the curve. So move the playhead till 1.6. Go to graph. And we have to keep disable this overshoot first. Keep this first keyframe as a linear. Move second keyframe and give a keyframing of ease in and make it little deeper like this okay go back now okay in the face parameter again we are going to repeat same process move playhead till one second make a keyframe second keyframe of 1.15 at the end another third keyframe like this move to first keyframe and the face value will be 0, 0. Second keyframe value will be 0 0.50. Like this. And the third keyframe value will be 2. Okay, and in the graph editor, move the playhead to 1.6 again, and the graph will be linear. And over here, keyframing will be linear for the second keyframing. And go back now. This is all about the face parameter. Now, move to alpha, repeat the same procedure, move the playhead till one second, like this. Make us another keyframing of 1.15 and the last of 3 seconds like this. And we have to put the keyframing key value. Alpha will be 100% means 100 will be value. Second will be 100 and the last will be 0, 0 like this. Okay. 
and we have to add curve animation and first keyframe will be linear like this move to another keyframe it will be ease in like this and make it little deeper like this let's see perfect now the last part we have to add box blur effect tab on this effect type box blur effect like this select standard settings minimize this and move this box layer above the page curl and these are the layer arrangement the first will be streak stripe effect second will be box blur and the last will be page curl you have to keep this in this order in order to achieve the same result what i'm trying to show you okay now tab on this box blur in box blur parameter we are going to make change in strength repeat the same process by creating three parameters move playhead to one second create the first keyframe second keyframe will be 1.15 again go to end of the transition make the third keyframe now move playhead to first keyframe the strength will be 60 like this second keyframe value will be 60 like this and the last keyframe value will be 00, zero. okay and now move play head till 1.6 again okay. now we have to put the graph value so for that move the play head till 1.6 like this open graph editor the first will be linear and the second graph will be is in like this make it little deeper like this and it's done let's see wonderful wonderful now i will show you how to replace this image with the video for the final presentation for that select the clip go to colors and fill select the media and select the sample video over here like this now select the second transition clip and go to color and fill select media and select the demo video or clip like this let's see play it perfect okay let's play it again like this okay so this is all about this page curl transition we have created on mobile phone all the processor will be same if you are using iphone or ipad or android phone all the procedure will be same and you are going to achieve same exact effect uh, you can check out this my project on the ipad uh, like this i have created on the ipad I found on the iPad creating all these effects are easy uh, but in mobile phone it is little intense and it, will, it gives little eye pressure but anyways uh, I hope you love this tutorial then give a big thumbs up uh, and share with your friends see you very soon in the new amazing video till then take care stay safe bye bye